Baboon TV presents 10 Misconceptions About Earth. Number 10. Mount Everest is actually moving sideways and not up. 50 million years ago, the Indian subcontinent decided that it didn't like the neighborhood south of the equator and headed north. It eventually smashed into Asia, raising the Himalayan mountain range, including Mount Everest, during the process. Today, at almost 9 kilometers high, Everest is Earth's tallest mountain that is above sea level. Since the India-Asia collision is ongoing, it's still rising, right? Wrong. Scientists who have meticulously measured the mountain's height, Giorgio Perotti, a University of Trieste professor, learned in 1995 that Mount Everest is not actually rising at a meaningful rate. Better instruments have simply improved the accuracy of height measurements. Instead, he says the ongoing continental collision between India and Asia is actually moving Everest northeast at a rate of 42 millimeters a year. Number 9. Mount Ikea is the tallest mountain. Speaking of Everest, it's not actually the tallest mountain on Earth. This mountain, which translates to Long Mountain, is part of the island of Hawaii. It doesn't look anywhere near as tall as Everest, but that's only because it's mostly submerged and all we can see are their summits. From summit to base, Mauna Kea measures a little over 10.2 kilometers high, which makes it much taller than Everest. Number 8. Tornadoes are actually invisible. Everybody runs for shelter when they see a tornado coming, but how is it that we can see the tornado in the first place? Air is invisible after all. Well, technically speaking, what we actually see is a condensation cloud made of water droplets and sometimes dirt and debris. It forms inside the invisible funnel of moving air that is the actual tornado. Number 7. Clouds weigh a lot. There are few things prettier than fluffy white clouds floating in a blue sky. We tend to think of such clouds as having no more substance than fog. But however, clouds are actually pretty hefty. The average cumulus cloud made out of water droplets weighs about 550 metric tons. Such a hefty behemoth can float because the atmosphere around it is pretty heavy. It's easy to forget that we in the cumulus cloud exist close to the bottom of the atmosphere. Air molecules have weight, and its air pressure is roughly 1 kilogram per square centimeter, or 17.2 metric tons. That's quite a lot of force against a typical 168 centimeter, 63.5 kilogram human. We aren't crushed by this weight, though, because it presses equally over both the inside and outside of our bodies. Number 6. Earth has magnetic tornadoes. NASA experts were surprised when their messenger mission to Mercury found twisting tornadoes over 800 kilometers wide in the planet's magnetic field. These flux transfer events, or plasmoids, form at the point where Mercury's magnetic field meets that of the Sun. Scientists believe that these two are responsible for Mercury's thin atmosphere. The tornadoes funnel the solar wind, plasma blown outward by the sun, down onto Mercury's surface where its electrically charged particles unlock gases that are bound up in rocks. Number 5. Rocks are inhabited. Endoliths are extremophiles, meaning they love extreme environments. They have been found almost 3 kilometers down in bedrock, and most of them live off water and food that fall down cracks but some actually eat rock and excrete acid that helps them break up more stony snacks. Number 4. Switzerland rises and falls about 10 inches a day. Earth isn't just nutritious to some forms of life, it's also a little elastic. That's why Mauna Loa Volcano can depress the Pacific seafloor so much. This elasticity also means that the moon and sun can affect the land as well as the sea, although not to such an extent. There is no shore to measure the ebb and flow, Large segments of Earth's surface rise and fall very slowly and almost imperceptibly. But that's just on plains or anywhere else that doesn't have a hefty volcano or mountain range to hold it down, right? Not really. Compared to the sun and moon, even the Alps are puny. Number 3. Cyclones can dance. Tornadoes are sometimes called cyclones, but technically, cyclones are low-pressure systems with winds spiraling counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the summer hemisphere. A cyclone can be a hurricane or any other sort of low pressure system with the appropriate wind direction. Number 2. Giant earthquakes can happen very slowly. Many big earthquakes have foreshocks, but scientists were surprised to find that rocks can creep past each other without any shaking at all. They learned this after deploying extremely sensitive equipment along the San Andreas Fault in California, where the Pacific and North American plates are slipping past each other and the Alpine Fault in New Zealand, where the Pacific Plate is sliding against the Australian Continental Plate. And at number one, 
the next volcanic eruption might not be at Yellowstone. Yellowstone Park is alive with geysers, hot springs, and boiling mud pots. Some of the fun went out of it at the turn of the 21st century, though, when geologists realized that there are such things as supervolcanoes and that Yellowstone Volcano is Exhibit A. Since then, everybody has been wondering when it is going to explode. Well, it turns out that it isn't likely to happen at any time relevant to human civilization. Recent studies have shown that while there is certainly a lot of magma down there, it is not in eruptible form. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.